Hi, my name is Alejandra. I will be making a lava lamp and explaining the chemical reactions that are occurring while doing so. So to do this experiment, you're gonna need some water, which I have in here, a container that's empty, some vegetable oil, Alka-Seltzer, Alka and food coloring if you wanna make it more fun. So first I'm gonna pour and fill this empty water bottle with about a third of water. Okay. Next, I will be pouring some vegetable oil. So, it's here. Notice as I am pouring the oil, even if it goes to the bottom, it floats back up. And this is due to the fact that um, water is less dense. I mean, oil is less dense than the water. So I'm gonna fill this up about as far up as you can. There you go. So as you can see, like I mentioned, the oil is staying on top. So even if I were to close this container and kind of mix it, the oil will still remain on top because of their densities. So I could do this and the oil will come back up. Next, I'm going to add some food coloring just to make it a little more fun. So you'll want to add about eight to 10 drops I'm going to use this blue food coloring. Okay. Get it to sink a little. Next, I'm going to add Alka-Seltzer. So when you're adding it, you want to break it into a few chunks. So, break this tab in half into a few pieces. Notice as I drop it, it sinks all the way to the bottom because when it's dropped in the oil and water, um, it's more dense than both of them, so it will go to the bottom. when the tablet begins to dissolve, uh, the chemicals in the tablet are reacting with each other and creating the bubbles of carbon dioxide, which is what you are seeing float towards the top. In this chemical reaction, um, the alkyl seltzer will actually be your limiting reactant because as soon as it all dissolves and there's no more of this, it limits the reaction and it stops. So, you will see that it will keep going until we run out of it. And then I will be right back to show you what it looks like once it has finished reacting. Hi, so I'm back. It's been maybe like about three minutes. So as you can see, there's still a little bit of fizzing going on. But a quick recap as to what happened. Um, so once I dropped the Alka-Seltzer tablet, it sank to the bottom because it is the more dense of the reactant, so it's more dense than oil and more dense than the water. So once it reached the water layer, which is down here, um, the tablet began to dissolve and when the chemicals in the tablet reacted, they started creating carbon dioxide gas. So when that occurred, um, the water and gas mixture was more was less dense than the oil, so it started to travel up. And that's why you saw those like small little bubbles um, going up, it's the carbon dioxide traveling because it is less dense than the other reactants. So um, as you can tell, as soon as the Alka-Seltzer, which is our limiting reactant, finished, it stopped reacting. So I'll do it again just to prove that this is what is our limiting reactant in the experiment. So drop it again and it will react once again.
carbon dioxide gas bubbles and you can see those like blue bubbles in here that is their way of trying to make it up to the surface because they are less dense So that was our experiment for the week. Thank you for watching.